Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the TI-83 or 84 calculator to calculate the linear regression uh, least squares line. Alright, so we need some data, so go into stat and edit and enter whatever two variable data you have. I have the uh, club head speed which is L1 versus ball distance, which is L2 here. All right, so we have L1 is our X or our independent variable, and L2 is our Y or our dependent variable. All right. So once you have that entered in, all right, quit out of that. Okay, back to your screen. Okay, so you have your data entered, and then what you want to do is go back into Stat, and then Calc and we're calculating two variable, right? Well, actually, we're not calculating two variable. Come down here where it says lin reg ax plus b, okay? That's linear regression line in the form ax plus b, where a is the slope and b is the y-intercept. All right, so that comes up on the screen. Hit enter again, and there's your slope and the y-intercept of your linear regression line. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Now there's a couple of other things we can do with this data now that we have it in here. All right, you might want to look at a graph. All right, so you have stat plot up here. So if I go second stat plot, you've got a bunch of different plots here that you can use. I'm just going to use the first one. All right, now I need to turn it from off to on, so I want to toggle the uh, switch over there to on. All right, now, there's a few different types of graphs that we can do. All right, what I'm interested in is a scatter plot, which is the first one right here. So that's already selected. If it wasn't, you would tab down there and select it. And then my data is in L1 and L2 for X and Y. And then just decide what uh, shape you want your uh, little dots to be. I'm just going to use the little open circle here. Okay. All right, so I have all that picked. Now the next thing I need to do is to set my window, all right? because the default window is negative 10 to 10, and that's not going to pick up any of my data. All right, In my data list, my lowest value is 99, so I want to go a little below that, so I'm going to say 95. And my highest x value is 105, so how about I say, uh, I don't know, 107. I just want to be a little beyond my highest value. All right, now my Y's go from about 255 to 277, so I'm going to make my Y's go from 250 to, I don't know, 280. All right, now if I hit graph, there's my scatter plot. All right, and you can see the nice linear uh, pattern there. Now, if in addition to that, I go into here, and I enter in my regression line, okay, which was 3.1661x minus, now uh, even to four decimal places, this rounds off to 55.8, so that's what I'm going to use, okay? So there's my equation. Now when I go back to my graph, there's my linear regression line, all graphed in nice and neat. 